so let's consider this example okay so what i'm going to do is i'm interested in limit as x approaches a from the right of 1 by x okay So do you agree that graph of one by X looks like this? So rectangular yes. happens, okay. And uh, as X gets closer to, or let, let me put zero here, okay. As X gets closer to zero from the right, okay. I'm interested in the behavior of FX, okay, which is one by X. And I would like to see where is this value approaching? So what do you think is is uh, what do you think about this? Where is this value approaching as X approaches zero from the right? Infinity. Hmm? Infinity. Exactly. Infinity. So basically there is no finite number right for that. You can say it's a limit. Can you say that it's it's uh, you know 10 to the power 100 or something like that. Can you say that, that that's a limit? No, right no okay so basically that's the idea you know like i mean in this case there is no number that can uh that we can say that okay yes l is a limit okay there is no such number okay so this is also a situation you know where limit doesn't exist okay this is the case where limit does not exist as you already recognize that you know this particular function is increasing without without any bounds uh, as x is approaching uh zero from the right okay so uh so how do you show that let's say l is not the limit what is the argument that you're going to use that l is not the limit okay so basically we're going to just use this definition so we are going to show that there is no number l so let's suppose this there is some number l and we want to check if that's a limit or not Okay. So what are we going to do? Well, straightforward. All that we are going to do is uh, we are going to just show that this condition holds because this is this is uh, what it means, uh, you know, for L to be not the limit of f x as x approaches a. Okay. Uh, again, uh, yeah, because it's a right limit that we are talking about. So I'll I'll make a modification here as well as here. Okay. So for the right limit. I'll only be looking for points which are greater than a. Okay, so like for example, here I've said for all x, there I'm going to just include another condition that for all x, uh, x greater than a and this, okay, implies this. Okay, so there'll there'll be a, a condition like this, x greater than a, and this implies this. Okay, for the right limit. Okay, because I, I cannot look for points to the left of a. Okay, I can only look for points to the right of a. Similarly, if I'm if I'm writing that limit as x approaches a from the right, f of x is not equal to l, then I, I'll make this this uh, you know modification here that there exists an epsilon positive such that for all delta positive, there exists an x. Okay, uh, which is greater than a and uh, close close to a. Okay, greater than a and close to a, and uh, its value, okay, is outside uh, the open interval l minus epsilon l plus epsilon. Okay, so so that's basically the the, the modification that we are going to make, and uh, now we are going to show that l is not the right limit of one by x as x approaches zero. Okay, so let's show that. Well, it's actually very simple to show this because if i'm going to consider any epsilon okay so i'm i want to show for there exists an epsilon okay so i can consider this epsilon for example l minus epsilon l plus epsilon and i'll show that this works okay so how is this work how is this going to work well i can consider this interval okay now Now, what does it says? This says that there exists an epsilon such that for all delta positive, okay? So delta means that you are going to look at zero plus delta and zero minus delta, okay? Uh, we can ignore points to the left because we are looking at the right limit, okay? So I can just 
remove this okay so zero plus delta okay now can i say that there exists a point in this interval between zero and zero plus delta okay whose image lies outside this uh, region l minus epsilon l plus epsilon can i say that yes i can obviously you can see this right if i choose a point close to zero the image of that point will be greater than l plus epsilon yes or no yes professor yes. Okay, and this is true for any delta positive. Do you agree? Even if I choose a smaller delta, I will be able to choose a point which is, uh, you know, close to zero, uh, whose image is greater than L plus epsilon. I can always do that, right? And therefore, L is not the limit because there is an epsilon for which no delta works. Okay, so what that means is, no matter what delta you want to consider, you'll always be able to find a point which is within a delta distance away from a but its image is uh, you know uh, uh, more than uh, epsilon distance away from from l okay or in other words that x lies in an interval a minus delta a plus delta but fx doesn't lie in the interval uh, l minus epsilon l plus epsilon is that fine okay so we have actually proved here that there is no such l that can that we can see that that's the limit of this particular expression okay so basically the limit doesn't exist is that fine yes professor okay